Hey, what's up? Thanks for joining. So I've had this problem where um, I've imported all of my images and videos from my iPhone into this folder here. It's on my Mac, but it would be the same on my Windows. It's in uh, folder pictures 2022. And I have most of them I've sorted all out. So we've got all these different kind of subfolders where I put pictures of our holiday and so on and so forth. Now, as you might experience as well, I've also carried on taking photos. And in fact, I've done a fresh import of photos and videos. The challenge is because I'm using an iPhone and iCloud things to back everything up, uh, a lot of stuff's duplicated. In fact, the vast majority of the photos and videos in these folders is duplicate. And I really don't want to go through every one of these photos and check whether or not it exists in here because that would take forever, right? I, I couldn't see anything myself on YouTube to help with this. So um, it really was quite challenging stuff. Now, the obvious solution to that is to use a product called Gemini on the Mac. There's probably an equivalent on the Windows. And the challenge with Gemini is that it will tell you if a file is newer or older and it can automatically select based on age and it cannot automatically select based on location. So Gemini could automatically delete all the duplicates, but then I would have to resort uh, potentially a lot of the uh, files and folders from the original import, and potentially I could go in and manually change their, uh, their crazy load, but I really don't want to mess with that because that's potentially useful information further down the line. So um, after a lot of research and asking for some help and advice, I found this piece of software here, which is, called Beyond Compare, which is a really powerful uh, piece of software which can compare folders, can also compare actual text documents um, uh, and various other um, kind of sources. And um, now, as with anything that's very powerful, because it has so many options, uh, you do sometimes get that sort of fog of, oh my goodness, where do I start? So the point of, the point of this video is to show you how to start using Beyond Compare to compare two folders where the folder structure is entirely different, but the files in those folder structures may well be absolutely identical. And um, this is actually a prequel because I'm gonna be using Beyond Compare to look for differences in backup drives compared to what's on my local machine, which is obviously a much bigger task, but this, this hopefully will demonstrate how it works. So obviously you wanna click on Folder Compare, right? And in the first um, URL kind of path there you want to put see the first folder and you click on this little uh, folder right on there uh, and on my pc we're going to go into uh pictures which i have as a favorite here and 2022 and that's it and the other path is going to be just the fresh import and i've deliberately not put that in the same folder because that would obviously potentially cloud the issue so i'll put it in here and i'll put it uh, just in downloads and I'll call it fresh import. Okay, so the results that will give you are honestly not terribly useful to start with. So uh, what it will show you is a, a long list of folders here that are not on the source, but are on the destination and the folders that are on the source, but are not currently on the destination. If you just look at folder names and you can drill down into the folders and obviously um, look, at, look at some of the files there, but th this isn't a terribly useful view, okay? Um, so the first thing to do is go to view and ignore folder structure. And that will very quickly just look at every file in the destination, every file in the source. But that's still not terribly useful because obviously you've got to scroll right down to see any files in the source that are not all maybe different to what's in the destination. Uh, you know, for example, you can see this one here, and there is a color coding to this. Uh, red means new or different, and they can see that the size is 22885, and over here the size is 20, uh, sorry, 25885, and over here it's the same size. So clearly it's just the date that's different, uh, 8th of Feb versus 18th of Feb. So we need to undo, undo that. So we'll go to session settings, uh, sorry. So we'll go to session settings, and uh, comparison and then take off the timestamps completely. Okay. Uh, while we're here as well, uh, we're actually going to compare contents as well. And this will do rules based comparisons. So what that means is it will uh, pretend to double click on each file and then look at what's in each file. So, as there's quite a few videos here, it could take some time. 
um, but that will that will really help uh, later. And I think we just checked through all of these others as well, but I think uh, that's everything we're going to change on on here. Um, so press OK for that. That's obviously going to make this taking some time going, going through that process. You can see the stop. Um, Stop our flash in there, so we'll give it some time. I'll just pause the video while it goes on and does that. Okay, and it's completed that in about 20 seconds, so not a long time. Um, so the next thing we need to do is hide unimportant differences. So this is on the view menu. Um, there are sometimes very minor differences that will flag up, so we just want to get rid of those. So ignore, sorry, ignore unimportant differences there. Uh, and then the next thing we want to do. And this is where it will simplify the view massively is on the view menu here we just want to see the orphans so the, the files which are on the source or which are not in the destination that's all we would actually want to see it's the point of this right so under here where it says differences we're going to go show right orphans okay and now we get a list of only the files which are on the source but are not on the destination and then, of course, you can go go through them and just double check. But so far, I haven't found any errors at all. So you can go open with review and finder. Um, hope that helps someone. Uh, I couldn't see anything myself on YouTube to help with this, so um, it really was quite a challenge. So I hope that helps. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing if it does, because I'll keep doing these useful videos as and when I come across these kind of challenges.